Hello folks, welcome back. Tell you what, it's freezing cold still. It's still winter. The sun's shining, but there's a freezing cold wind. It's been raining on and off, and there's a chance of snow. So, there you go. There's one way to warm up though, and that is by preparing the land to put my potatoes in. So, it's time to make a start. Crap on. Right, you can see it's quite windy there. Anyway, I've warmed up now. As you've just seen there, I've dug this trench. Now this is the ideal way of starting your potatoes off. So that is a spade and a half depth. Now what I'm gonna do is get my wheelbarrow and get a load of this cow manure and stick it in the bottom of the trench about two inches three inches deep the deeper the better and then i'm going to obviously put the soil back over and that'll be ready for when i put my potatoes in so i'll crack on with that i try to do a shadow move there but season a bit <laughs>
Right, so there you go. That's the first row sorted out. I just need to get some potatoes now. I'll tell you about that later. But, obviously put them stakes in there just to let us know where the line is. And then we're ready to go when it's time to start sowing potatoes. Right, I'm going to go in the greenhouse. Right, it's a little bit warmer in here. I've just brought some cups because two weeks ago I sowed these onions in the cups. And as you can see, they're just starting to grow there now. So, two weeks later, like I said, I'm going to sow 20 more. Same as last time. I've the reason I'm using these cups, folks, is because I found them in a, in a bin. <laughs> they were getting chucked out at the school because it's the non-biodegradable, so they had to get rid of them. So I was straight in there. And these are polystyrene cups as well, which will help a little bit because it will insulate a little bit, keep it warm, not nah, that. Nah. So I'm going to crack on with this. Same as, same as always folks, before you yeah, plant anything in it, make some holes in the cup. It's easy to make the holes in these. I talking about potatoes, that's me, potato, one of the potato trenches ready anyway. I just, I just thought I'd make a start and there. Uh, Hopefully I'll get some seed potatoes. <laughs> um, I was in Wilkinson's the other week and they hardly had any left. Now in January, they had loads, all different varieties. Now they've only got a few few left and it's, it's crazy. I hope they get some more in because they didn't have any Charlotte or Picasso and that's my two favourites. So I might have to resort to buy them online. Obviously I'll go to the JBA seed potato site, order them from there. Um, but I had a look on their website and six Charlotte potatoes, no eight Charlotte potatoes, sorry, six pound in a nice little packet. But you can also buy the, um, the two kilogram bags. And they're, they're six pound plus delivery. I don't know what that was. I just went past there, folks, but it made us look. I so it'll cost about, oh, I don't know, eight pound fifty altogether, I should imagine, for a, two kilos of potatoes. It's starting to get expensive now, folks. What's going on? Right, I'm going to crack on with this anyway. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so as you can see here, the onions that I sowed two weeks ago have just started to show signs of growth, which is good. Put that on there. I've just put these in this, made a little propagating frame for them. Under there, and there's another 20. Spot on. I've just put a couple of uh, shallots in there because I want to put this somewhere instead of it just drying out so I'll probably just fill another pot and put another one in before I go I've also been busy I was here for an hour the other day and I've put some of this silver screening up here just in case it gets too hot for the grapes there I mean I'm not sure if the grapevine is going to grow back after getting scorched last year but we'll see and if it does grow back then it's got a nice protection from the sun so what's going on out here nothing much are we going to get a nice sunset tonight i don't know maybe maybe not right folks that's me done for the day it's getting dark now i'm going to stick this camera on the time lapse see what we get Anyway, I was looking up the YouTube statistics the other night, and this it amazes us. Amazing! Uh, let's get my words out properly. 
This is amazing, folks. According to my YouTube statistics, I've had over one and a half million views and 192,000 hours of watch time. Now, I've worked out how many hours, how many years is in 192,000 hours, and that is 21 years. So, wow, unbelievable, folks. Thank you for watching over the years and thank you for watching in the future. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and all that kind of thing. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.